Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite hard-earned dislike, Gardner. Make sure that you dislike the smash button so that all six of the sad bros who dislike this video will have some more company this time. It's been a relatively light week in terms of Steam Deck news, but it's still Steam Deck news time. So remember how Valve made it easier to have custom boot videos on deck? Well, it looks like they're actually about to start selling boot videos. This is according to SteamDB creator Pavel Dunjik, Jundik? I don't know how to pronounce your name, I apologize my dude. Pavel noticed uh, a recent change in the Steam client where uh, the Steam Point Store now has strings that say a Steam Deck startup movie. You can set this movie to play when your Steam Deck starts up. But it's not just the uh, reward program on Steam Deck. Check out steamdeckrepo.com for a wide repository of community-made boot movies. There's over 140 different entries on the site as of recording this video, so far ranging from pretty cool to pretty cringe. It seems the community really loves these boot movies, so that's pretty awesome. There's a shocking number of sitcom intros, which I think is weird, but I'm, I'm not gonna judge. It would be pretty cool to have a rotating list, so if you have the Seinfeld and the Frasier and the Cheers uh, bumper, you could have it pick a random one of those every time you start up your Steam Deck. I would actually kind of like that. Okay, next up, have you tried running Windows 11 on the Steam Deck? Some folks have, and they've reported that there's some crashing issues and instability with Windows. Well, according to the official Twitter account, Valve has resolved the crashing issues. Quote, hello, a quick note for folks who are running Windows on Steam Deck. The team has chased down the Windows 11 crashing issue, and we've updated the audio driver to address the bug. You can find the updated driver here. This is good news for the folks who want to use Windows on their Steam Deck for some reason. More power to you. Do you enjoy these weekly deep dives into the news? Why not like that smash button? It helps give you a morsel of control over the YouTube algorithm. And did you know that only 28% of the folks who watch these videos are actually subscribed? Make sure that you get subscribed so that you can stay up to date with all the awesome stuff we're doing here on the channel. And when we hit 100,000 subscribers, we're gonna be giving away a Steam Deck. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Now the Steam mobile app has been updated with a brand new version that's actually got some great features. Quote, we've completely revamped the Steam mobile app with a new framework, new design, and new features. You'll be able to browse the store, get Steam Guard codes, and confirm trades with additions like QR code scanning for PC sign-in, smarter notifications, customizable tabs, and a new library view with remote downloads. Supported by the work across the entire Steam platform to improve account security, including new sign-in experiences on the web and in the Steam client, the mobile app is the best way to keep your account secure with two-factor authentication. Now, obviously, one of the most prominent features of this new update to the app is Valve is getting on board with the QR code sign-in trend that so many other apps are keen on at this point. This has its positives and negatives, of course. While it simplifies the two-factor authentication process, it can also pose an issue as there are pretty easy ways to spoof a QR code. And while I mostly trust Valve, giving yet another app on my phone access to my camera is just not something I like to do. So if you don't want to use the QR code, you can still log in with a username and password and then confirm the login on your phone rather than having to type in a 2FA code. Now, if your phone is offline, you can still use a 2FA code if you want, uh, but this is a small and important quality of life feature. You can also manage your signed in sessions through the app. So you can log out your account from your friend's PC remotely, and that's pretty cool but I would love to know what you think about this new app and how it might play well with the Steam Deck. Let me know, I'd love to hear from you. Next up, the final story I wanna talk about today, and this is a big one. KDE developer David Edmondson uh, gave a keynote speech about KDE Plasma on the Steam Deck at Academy 2022 in Barcelona. Now, if you're not aware, KDE Plasma is a free and open source desktop environment. And what that means for Steam Deck is that when you leave game mode and head to the desktop on Steam Deck, that's KDE Plasma. Now, a few of the more interesting things mentioned during David's keynote was that Valve has contracted Blue Systems to develop free and open source software. So Blue Systems were contacted by Valve. We got in touch. Uh, we knew they wanted to do something with Plasma to work on very specific, specific areas of Plasma, places where Valve have said, oh, I think we can do this a little bit better. So when they contacted us, we didn't know about the Steam Deck. We weren't hired for that, it was a secret. 
but they gave some work saying we're going to do something with Plasma. So we started off and mostly didn't do many Steam Deck specific tasks, partly because they had this vision of using it as a, as a desktop. But that didn't matter because Valve cared about building an ecosystem regardless. So it was a phrase they constantly repeat, build an ecosystem. It's in their interest for Linux to get better. On Linux, they are the store where you get games. So it makes sense, it's a good partnership. So to get away from those other stores that Alice was talking about on, on Windows and Android and OS X, rather than competing, it's in their interest for a new market to thrive, which means Plasma and GNOME and everyone getting those more users. So they really care about, about that. That's huge as it benefits not just the Steam Deck, but it also improves the wider Linux community and shows Valve's commitment to free and open source. For example, in the talk, David said that Valve is funding the development of specific features in Flatpak, KDE, Wayland, and many, many other free and open source software projects. Now, Flatpak is the package format that allows you to install applications from the Discover Store in desktop mode, and Wayland is a display protocol. And if you don't know what that means, then you probably don't even need to bother knowing. But suffice it to say, this is helping move the entire Linux ecosystem forward, and that requires major kudos. For example, the KDE developers rebuilt the task manager application to include GPU monitoring, network monitoring, and they added desktop widgets to show GPU monitoring. Another major thing Valve funded was the system settings in Plasma, which, if I'm being completely honest, were a mess and are much improved now on Steam Deck. However, around the 28 minute mark in his lecture, things get pretty interesting. David revealed that the Steam Deck has shipped over a million units in current markets. They have crossed over a million, and they're still processing the back orders, and once they've done their back orders, that's still going on. So once they process the back orders, then they expect another surge of sales because then it's going to be available in store. This is incredible. That's as of October 3rd, before Valve announced that the deck was available for sale without a retail reservation. I suspected for a while that the majority of people who want a Steam Deck hadn't even placed a reservation because they just wanted to be able to buy it without waiting in line. So it'll be really interesting to see, uh, going into the holiday season, how many Steam Decks Valve actually sells in total. Having sold a million in a reservation queue is huge. So now that people are able to actually buy the device and get it within a week or two, that's enormous. And I suspect we'll see two to three million more devices sold. Maybe after Christmas, four million Steam Decks sold? Leave a comment and let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Believe it or not, we're at the end of the video. It was kind of a light week for Steam Deck news, like I said, but it was still a good one. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think about any of the topics that we covered in this video. I want to give a special shout out to my patrons and my YouTube members, the folks who make what I do here a reality. They pledge their monthly support and they get their names here at the end of the video. So thanks. If you believe in the work that I'm doing and you want to help this show grow, you can use the links below to become a Steam Deck warrior. And thanks. I think that's gonna do it for now though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day and I will see you next time.